Welcome back. And uh, with me is the CEO of Zebi, Sudhir Kapam. So great to have you here. Uh, thank so you for having me. Tell me what Zebi is. So uh, before I talk about Zebi, uh, I just want to let you know that one Zebi byte stands for 1024 to the power of 7. Okay. So There's math you, involved. Yes. Okay. And if you, <laughs> if you actually translate it, uh, it comes down to a trillion gigabytes. Wow. So that's okay. one Zebi byte. Okay. So the name originated from that. And uh, we have seven co-founders, all of us friends from undergrad, okay. uh, IIT Madras, okay. way back in India. Okay. And we all decided to found a company, and that's what uh, gave birth to Zebi. And that's where you got the name. Exactly. So what does Zebi do? So Zebi basically blockchains uh, any piece of big data okay. um, in order to ensure we bring the benefits of blockchain technology, which is uh, immutability, um, elimination of uh, concerns related to fake mm. documents, um, forgery, etc. So you can have transparency, you can have immutability, you can have security in terms of uh, data protection, and of course, audit trail and transparency. Mm -hmm. So now there are a lot of use cases being talked about for blockchain. So what are your views about all of the blockchain use cases and how would Zebi fit into that? Sure. So I mean, if you, if you just Google for blockchain use cases, you probably will get more than 100. Oh, there's tons. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but that said, uh, we have three commercial products, okay. uh, all deployed in India. Mm. Uh, our first product is blockchaining uh, land registry. Mm. So, India has a lot of concerns with respect to title ownership and uh, fake titles, and everybody claims mm. that you know they own a specific property I because see. you can very easily forge documents, mm. and uh, the number of cases in Indian courts is unparalleled <laughs> related to property litigation um, to the extent that one economist actually quantified that to a 4% GDP impact. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So our product basically is right now deployed in the new city of Amaravati down south okay. in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, we ensure that we blockchain all the land record information, whether it's a property or a land parcel, et cetera. And uh, our business model is just like a software as a service company. Every time we do the initial blockchaining of the land registry, mm -hmm. we charge a nominal fee. And then every time there is a read or a write onto the blockchain, we charge a nominal transaction fee. Okay. So that's our first product in implementation. Our second product is for the education markets. Same concern, a lot of fake degrees, mm -hmm. fake transcripts. So the universities in India are concerned about their reputation, sure. brand, image, etc. Mm -hmm. So we came up with the Zebi Edu chain, wherein we blockchain all the student records. And I'm uh, glad to report that today we blockchain 1.4 million student records in India. And our product has been implemented over uh, slightly over 800 colleges all over India. Okay. And our third product is uh, for the hospitality industry and the police department. Okay. So in India, there is a law that every day, every uh, hotel has to report all the um, KYC, know your customer, mm -hmm. check-in information belonging to the guests to the local police station. Now, obviously, this is being done manually mm -hmm. until we came up with our Zebi AI chain product. And so our product basically has uh, two modules. One module sits at the hotel. Mm -hmm. As and when the guest is checking in, we collect the picture ID and all the KYC information. And it's blockchained because uh, there is privacy involved and it needs to be securely kept. And then in real time, it's transferred to uh, the police. And the module sitting at the police basically has artificial intelligence capabilities, facial recognition, machine oh. learning. Okay. And so they can automatically mix and match 
with criminal databases mm. so that they can prevent uh, nefarious activities. Interesting. So you're just in India right now, as I understand it? Correct. Do you expect to expand? Yes. Okay. So uh, we have global ambition. Uh, our products basically uh, can solve problems all over the world. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the pain points are a little more in emerging markets. Mm -hmm. But that said, uh, if you consider, let's say, US, for example, uh, a high school student's degrees uh, or grades mm -hmm. um, and proof that they graduated is all being transmitted on a piece of paper mm -hmm. to the college where the student is going to go. Mm -hmm. um, so you can technically eliminate all of that, okay. make it all digital mm -hmm. uh, with our blockchain product. Okay. Now how can somebody find out more about Zebi? Um, so we have presence everywhere. Mm -hmm. So you can simply Google for Zebi. It will lead you to our website, okay. which is very detailed. Okay. With respect to our products, the management team, our background, mm -hmm. as well as we are on all the social networks, mm -hmm. uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Reddit, uh, mm -hmm. GitHub, uh, including Telegram. Okay. Uh, we mm -hmm. have uh, groups in Telegram where JB is basically uh, followed okay. uh, avidly mm -hmm. uh, with a lot of uh, support from the crypto community mm -hmm. because last year we did uh, our ICO okay. for uh, 10 million mm -hmm. US mm -hmm. and uh, our ICO got oversubscribed and we finished the crowd sale in two seconds. Okay. Wow. Goodness. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. And best of luck on your expansion overseas. It sounds like a technology that could be used by just about everybody. Absolutely. So, okay. Thank you so much for coming and joining us. And thank you as well for joining us. We'll be right back.